Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep in. Let me talk about this situation with Tyrese and the Rock. In case you guys don't know, uh, Tyrese Gibson basically trashed Hobbs and Shaw's opening uh, weekend, saying it was the lowest opening for a Fast and Furious movie since Tokyo Drift. So basically, he was, you know, he basically got it in for The Rock because he felt like The Rock shouldn't have got his own spinoff movie and that he broke up the Fast and Furious franchise. First of all, people need to remember The Rock didn't even come into the Fast and Furious franchise to the fifth movie. That's what people keep forgetting. It wasn't like he was there from the beginning. Now, Tyrese Gibson is also leaving out valuable information that The Rock and Vin Diesel clashed on the set of Fast and Furious 8 to the point to where they didn't even have no actual scenes together. Okay? And basically, Vin Diesel tried to get The Rock fired from the Fast and Furious series. Now, if you go back in time, you can look at the tweets where Vin Diesel and The Rock was taking shots at each other. So it got to the point to where Vin Diesel was like, hey, I don't want this dude on any of the movies. So that's the other reason why they gave him the Hobbs and Shaw spinoff movies with him and Jason Statham due to the fact that him and Jason Statham had like great chemistry together on the screen. And you can see it for the most part of the movie. I already critiqued the movie, did my review, the issues that I had with the Hobbs and Shaw movie, the Hobbs and Shaw movie. So, Tyrese got to remember, Universal offered him and Ludacris a spinoff movie also as well. And that still could happen. There's talks of TV series. They saying there will be more spinoff movies. So that still could happen. Okay. And another reason why they got into it, it's still on YouTube. You could uh, Google The Rock Trashes. Tyrese's latest album and The Rock said it was a, a piece of shit he said it was just a horrible album and he said he can't believe he lost an hour of his life listening to that listening to that album so I mean they've been going at it for a minute so you know it's been The Rock Tyrese and Ben Diesel but you know um, that's Ben Diesel's uh, vehicle The Fast and the Furious so at the end of the day uh, Ben Diesel been there since the beginning. He's been in pretty much every movie except uh, Too Fast, Too Furious. So, you know, they're going to ride with Ben Diesel. Even though The Rock right now is like the biggest box office draw right now. You know, The Rock has just had a string of hit movies. So, right now, he's like the, the biggest box office draw. Well, one of them. So, with that being said, Tyrese has to understand the show must go on. And he's saying hopefully that that he's in uh, Fast and Furious 10, but that may not happen, not if Vin Diesel has anything to say. Now, it's documented that Jason Statham's uh, screen mother, Helen Mirror, will appear in Fast and Furious, um, Fast and Furious 9. That's documented. Now, there is a rumor that they may possibly shoot a scene towards the end credits of Fast and Furious, uh, Fast and Furious 9 to either set up the sequel to Hobbs and Shaw, or basically somehow they may be able to add The Rock and bring Jason Statham back for 9, 9 and 10. But that's what they've been saying. You know, because I've been following this. They've been, they've been saying that they may uh, have Jason Statham shoot a couple of scenes to where at least his character has some kind of scene in Fast and Furious 9 because his mother is going to make an appearance in the movie uh, played by Helen Mirror. But as far as Tyrese go, Tyrese, he just got to, you know, he just got to move on. It ain't nothing he could do. I mean, if you turn down the opportunity to get your own movie, that's like sort of on you. You can't knock the rock for taking the opportunity to get his money, man. 
I mean, for real, The Rock got paid like a handsome amount of money for that uh, Shab's, uh, I mean, that Hobbs and Shaw movie. Heard he got paid like $30 million for that movie. Shit. I'd take it too. But anyway, this your boy, Tell Biz. I'm out.